Okay, so I've had a few YouTubers ask some questions about the electrical systems on these uh, Briggs and Stratton engines or the uh, maybe some other motors. Uh, they're pretty much all the same uh, as far as all the Briggs go. Some of the colors are a little bit different. Basically, you have a you have an alternator up under the flywheel, which has two wires coming off of it. This uh, red wire goes straight to your battery. It's got a diode built into it, and the black wire goes to your headlights. And some models, they have the headlights on all the time, so these are hooked directly to the headlights, or they'll go through a switch, or the ignition switch. Basically, when you crank up the motor, it'll be in run position, and if you turn it back one, then it connects this wire to the headlights. In this case, mine is broke, but, um, yeah, so that's how the charging system works. The starting system is pretty simple. It's got a solenoid back here. All it this does is connect this pole to that pole right there. And that pole with the boot on has the it goes straight to the battery and there's also a wire hooked up to it that goes to the ignition switch um, which gives a hot going to the ignition switch to run other things. And this wire right here goes to the starter. And once you engage the solenoid then it engages the starter. And there's also another wire, you can't see it, but uh, it may be that white wire, I can't really tell, but uh, it's either a white or a red wire that goes to the solenoid. And sometimes there's two, one is ground, one is positive. Uh, that can be for different models that may have that, or with a single pole, you would just, or yeah, with a single wire going to the solenoid to engage it, then it would be, um, like I think this one is a single, single uh, wire so that would it would just be sending a hot to it and the base the base ground there's two bolts holding in the uh, solenoid would be the ground for it and the way the battery is hooked up this right heat this wire right here black wire goes straight to ground this one right here goes to solenoid so um, the whole frame is the ground so that's why you don't see many black wires being used as ground. Uh, this wire right here goes to, oh, there is, there's a, um, when you turn this to start, it sends a hot signal, uh, or it, it connects a hot wire from the battery post of the solenoid to the uh, signal part of the solenoid, which is that wire right there, that white one. So, that's what engages uh, the solenoid, which is engages the starter. So um, don't use screwdrivers to start those things over. I know it's an easy way, and I know um, it's easy to do, but sometimes you can weld your uh, you can make like uh, you can make weld spots on your uh, terminal screws, which can keep it. It'll screw up the threads, and it's just not good to do. You make a spark, get a gas tank up here. Just don't do it. Just replace the solenoid if it don't work. But yeah, do use a screwdriver if you don't know. Um, that is a good. That, that's the only way you can really test to see if the solenoid is good or not. But uh, anyways, this is your kill wire right here. Black wire goes. Um, you also got a ground hook. You have to have a ground. Some of these uh, 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 ignition switches have the ground as the dashboard some of them have a black wire that goes straight to ground somewhere else and that um, when you turn the engine off in the off position it go it sends a, or it connects the ground to this wire which then goes up to the magneto and that's what kills the motor and this wire right here on some engines that have a solenoid up under the uh, up under the carburetor bowl this wire goes over here and as you can see, this wire right here is grounded. This black wire has nothing to do with that wire over there. This black wire is just grounded right here, and it's hooked up to the solenoid. Then you got that wire that goes to the other side, and it's hooked up to the solenoid on the bowl. And you can prop well. I don't have a battery in it, but when you turn turn the ignition to run, that you'll hear that click. If it doesn't click, then you got a connection problem uh, between that or your solenoid is bad. So keep that in mind. Um, and I'll show you on this snapper over here. This one is a little bit simpler. But for one, it doesn't have the solenoid on the carburetor. It's just got a nut on the bowl. And this uh, 
This wire right here is the, um, as you can see, is the red wire which goes to the battery. In this case, it's white on the outside, or I think it was supposed to be yellow at one point. And you can see all your ground connections are made. Uh, some of them are different areas. Some of them are to one spot like this. Uh, this wire was disconnected because the uh, seat switch was not working. And, or either it was a seat switch or the deck switch. I can't really remember. But you can see on this one, it can be made to where when you turn your uh, throttle all the way down, sometimes they'll have a stop stamped in there or a stop sticker. And that will actually, uh, when you move it down far enough, it'll uh, push a, a lever in here which will make a ground contact to this. That's the reason why there's a plastic boot right there on the uh, that on the motor, so, yeah, on the block right there. So that just keeps it from grounding out. And this right here goes, this wire right here goes to the magneto to kill it, just like the other one. And some of them will have a spade clip right there. Um, I guess if you don't have something like this right here, so, anyways, that's how this one's set up, and you know that there are other ways of setting up your ground. You can have a you can have a push a, a push button up here to stop it, or you can have a on and off switch, uh, the ignition switch. This case one, this one has an ignition switch, and the reason why there's multiple ones on there's multiple ones on here like this one, that's why you have your safety switches. So if you get up off the seat, then it uh, makes a ground connection from this wire to this one. And with this one, when you turn the ignition switch off, it makes a ground connection from the switch to the magneto. So that's what kills it. And uh, make sure your battery's in good shape. Um, it's kind of just, I'm actually done with uh, trying to use used batteries and trying to desulfate them and all that mess. Um, that's really only if you got batteries that you really just can't afford. Or, I mean, if you just, they've just been sitting a long time, I would desulfate them but most of the time I buy brand new batteries now. So, um, as far as back there, there's a solenoid and a, couple, a few other wires um, all junction in there. So, not much to these electrical systems. The alternator basically just bolts on, like a, it bolts on these four bolt holes right here. And um, the wire comes out right here. And you know, it's not really that much to it. You can see on this one, where the uh, this wire is supposed to go right here, and it goes up to the magneto through this way. So, I uh, hope this helps you all out. Um, I'm gonna be putting a, I'll, I'll put a wiring diagram. Uh, yeah, I'll just go ahead and show you all the wiring diagram for most of these models. So, yeah. Okay, so here's a basic wiring diagram for most uh, Briggs and Stratton engines. Uh, you have your solenoid here with your big cable going straight to your battery and then you got the other side going to your starter um, you got your starter switch um, over here which basically just uh, connects a hot to the starter or solenoid and that uh, engages the solenoid and uh, cranks the motor, starter motor over batteries hooked to ground uh, toggle switch for your um, well when you turn your ignition off um, it uh, connects your magneto to ground and you can see over here this uh that's your uh wire coming from the red wire coming from your uh alternator which is uh which goes straight to your battery and the reason that like i said the reason why they hook it up right here is just to save wire so you don't have to have that wire going there and then that wire going there so um yeah and the white wire or white or black wire goes to uh the the um uh, headlights so I'll show you another picture of a one a whole complete system so this right here has the um, solenoid on the carburetor and it's got the headlights it's got uh, safety switches and all the other stuff um, seat switch BTO switch uh, clutch switch and you know so basically you got just all the plugs and everything added on this one that right there it goes down you follow it goes to the ignition switch it's also hooked up to the uh, safety switches and those safety switches will eventually lead to a ground 
and see normally closed means that it's normally closed when the switch is not pushed in so it would be closing the um it would be uh, connecting to ground if the switch is not pushed in if the switch is pushed in then this one right here will close and this one will open and I'm guessing this one if you follow it up it probably goes somewhere over here and um, I'm guessing that that would be the hot for if I'm looking around here trying to find it yeah that, that keeps you um, that allows you to start the motor so it closes that side so it allow the hot to travel to the solenoid that's why when you uh, that's why you had to push the clutch in to crank it so it serves two purposes it's kind of, almost kind of like a it's, it's a double throw switch is what it is um, except it's reversed on both sides so uh, see so you got your diode here that's built into that wire on the uh, alternator or stator and your alternator is grounded too forgot to mention that um, headlights uh, switch this switch is a little bit more has a few more prongs sometimes you wouldn't have that one or that one right there um, or maybe it's the other way around sometimes they only have five prongs sometimes they may have only three prongs which in that case you wouldn't have a uh, you wouldn't have any safety switches um, for what I find because I, I did work on one pretty recently or maybe it had four and not uh, it either had three or four something like that but uh yeah that solenoid up here um, won't be on it, 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 it sends a hot to the solenoid when you turn the ignition to run. So, not really much else to it. I mean, it's, it's fairly simple. It looks complicated from far away, but it's pretty simple if you just look at it. I mean, uh, not much to it at all. So, anyways, if this hopefully this helps a lot of y'all out. Um, uh, electrical system... Uh, so I don't know, so I guess some people don't understand it too well, but um, I'm glad to help anybody who needs help with it. So, yeah, thanks for watching.